Hello, my name is Carlo Oger, Emergency Physician and Founder of EDExitVideo.com, a website that provides free patient medical education videos about different diagnoses found in the emergency department. This video is about gastritis and peptic ulcer disease. Gastritis is an irritation or inflammation of the stomach lining, but without an ulcer. The causes include the use of alcohol, anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, and prednisone, and the use of spicy foods. Peptic ulcer is an open sore in the lining of the stomach. An infection in the stomach by H. pylori bacteria is the cause of most ulcers. This bacteria synthesizes urease, which produces ammonia that damages the gastric lining. It also neutralizes the acid pH and allows the organism to live in the stomach without being damaged by the acidity in it. Other causes include cigarette smoking, anti-inflammatory drugs, and emotional stress. Acid blocking medicines will help to heal the ulcer in about 6 to 12 weeks. If a bacterial infection is present, then antibiotics will also be needed to keep the ulcer from coming back. Gastritis and peptic ulcer disease can be considered as sort of a progression of the same illness. Many of the symptoms are the same and the treatment overlaps. The main difference in treatment is that if peptic ulcer disease is caused by H. pylori, then antibiotics will be necessary to eradicate the bacteria that causes the infection. Home care. Take any prescribed medicines for as long as directed. Finish them even if you feel better sooner. Unless an acid blocker was prescribed, or if you cannot afford the one that's prescribed to you, you may use over-the-counter drugs such as Pepsidacid or Santac. These begin to work within a few hours of taking them. Prilosec OTC or Omeprazole is a new type of acid blocker which may be even more effective, but it takes four days for its full effect. You may get additional short-term relief by taking antiacids like Melanta or Malox. It should be taken one hour after meals and at bedtime. Gastritis may be worsened by foods that irritate the stomach. Follow a light diet until you're feeling better. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up with your doctor as advised. Further testing may be needed. The doctor will want to find out if you have H. pylori infection in your stomach by doing further tests or referring you to a specialist to do endoscopies and biopsies of the ulcer, if present. Come back to the emergency department if you have stomach pain that gets worse or moves to the lower right abdomen, the appendix area. If there's swelling in the abdomen, frequent vomiting. If you're not able to keep fluids down or you have diarrhea, if you're feeling weak or dizzy, fainting or trouble breathing, if you have pain that spreads to your chest, back, neck, shoulder or arm, if you're vomiting blood or passing blood in the stools. For other videos like this one, please visit www.edxitvideo.com. But remember, these are all educational videos and should never replace the care or attention of a medical healthcare professional.